Hello my dear viewers and welcome back to our channel. Today we're unraveling the secrets of a chapter in every woman's life. It's not just informative, it's the key to making these golden years truly shine. We're delving into the enigmatic world of women's health after the age of 50. You see life is a magnificent journey, and these later years can hold the most remarkable surprises. But here's the catch. Our bodies go through some extraordinary transformations. So what are these stages and what do they mean for you? You won't believe the revelations that await. Let's embark on this incredible journey to unlock the hidden truths of life after 50. Your adventure begins now. Picture this. You've just arrived in your fabulous 50s and let me tell you, these are the golden years. It's like a treasure chest brimming with wisdom, experience and adventures waiting to be explored. But there's a twist in this thrilling plot. You might start to notice changes not just in the world around you but right within yourself. Don't worry, it's all part of the grand story. Our tip for this stage, it's a simple one. Embrace it. Yes, you heard me right, your mindset is the compass that guides this journey. Stay positively charged, keep that beautiful energy flowing and get ready to seize life like never before. Stage 1. Perimenopause Alright, let's talk perimenopause. That's the warm-up act before the grand performance called menopause. Think of it as your body's dress rehearsal. During this time, your ovaries are getting ready for retirement and start to produce less of two crucial hormones, estrogen and progesterone. This hormonal roller coaster can lead to some common symptoms, like irregular periods that'll keep you guessing, hot flashes that might make you feel like you're in a sauna, night sweats that are like unwanted nighttime surprises, mood swings that can turn you into a bit of a roller coaster yourself, and even trouble sleeping, which leaves you counting sheep into the wee hours. Plus, there are some more intimate issues like vaginal dryness and a decreased libido which can be a bit of a downer. But hey, no need to worry. We've got some advice on managing these symptoms. You can do it naturally or with a little help from your friendly doctor. Stage two, menopause. Now let's hit the big one, menopause. This is when your ovaries say, I'm done with the hormone production business. The symptoms from perimenopause often stick around during this stage, but can sometimes become more severe. Think of those hot flashes that can turn any day into a scorcher, mood swings that can give even the best soap operas a run for their money, and the whole gang's still here. Plus, you might find a few new friends joining the party. Weight gain likes to hang around uninvited, dry skin can make you wonder if you're part reptile, and thinning hair might make you feel like you're in a never-ending episode of a hair loss drama. On top of all that, there's a higher risk of conditions like osteoporosis, which sounds like a villain's lair, and heart disease and stroke, which you definitely want to avoid. It might sound like a lot, but don't worry. We've got tips to help you manage these symptoms naturally or with your doctor's guidance. Stage three, postmenopause. And now let's talk postmenopause. This stage kicks in after menopause, and it's a time of a bit more stability. Some symptoms from the earlier stages might still be hanging around, but now we face some new challenges. You could be at a higher risk of heart disease, which is something you want to keep your guard up for, and stroke, which is definitely not on anyone's bucket list. There's also the looming risk of osteoporosis, which is like the sneaky ghost in a haunted house. Plus, there's Alzheimer's disease, which is a real brain teaser, and breast cancer and colon cancer. But here's the good news. You have the power to stay healthy. We've got some guidance on how to maintain bone health and a healthy weight because, well, your health matters at every stage of the game. To stay healthy after 50, there are a few things to keep in mind. Emotional well-being. First, your emotional well-being. It's essential to manage stress and any mood swings you might be experiencing. Emotional well-being is the cornerstone of leading a healthy life after 50. This stage often brings significant life changes, such as retirement or children leaving the nest, which can affect one's emotional state. It's crucial to recognize and address these emotions. Emotional health is linked to physical health. 
chronic stress and emotional distress can lead to various health issues, including high blood pressure and weakened immunity. Engage in activities that bring joy and relaxation like hobbies, meditation, or mindfulness exercises. Seek support from friends, family, or a therapist. Don't hesitate to express your feelings, whether it's through journaling or talking to a confidant. Eating a healthy diet. Second, eat a healthy diet filled with colorful fruits and veggies, whole grains and lean proteins. And don't forget to stay hydrated. A well-balanced diet is your ally in the battle for good health after 50. As we age, our metabolism slows, making it easier to gain weight. A nutrient-rich diet is essential for maintaining energy, a healthy weight, and warding off chronic diseases. Load up on fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats. Limit processed foods, sugary snacks, and excessive sodium. Staying hydrated is vital too. Consider consulting a dietitian for a personalized eating plan. Exercising regularly. Third, regular exercise. Even a daily walk can do wonders. Regular physical activity is a must as you age. It helps with weight management, maintains muscle mass and keeps your joints flexible. Exercise is also known to boost mood and improve overall well-being. Aim for a mix of aerobic exercises like walking or swimming and strength training using weights or resistance bands. Make it a habit, even if it's just 30 minutes a day. Find activities you enjoy. It's easier to stick with them. Getting regular medical checkups. Fourth, those regular medical checkups are your best friend. Don't skip them. Regular health checkups are not just for when you're feeling unwell. Many health conditions develop silently and can be more effectively treated or managed when caught early. Regular checkups help ensure you're on the right track. Schedule regular visits with your healthcare provider for age-appropriate screenings. Keep track of your health metrics, such as blood pressure, cholesterol and blood sugar. Don't hesitate to discuss any health concerns or changes in your body. Managing stress. Managing stress is crucial. Stress management is paramount. Chronic stress can have a significant impact on your health, including increasing the risk of heart disease, depression and anxiety. Stress can also worsen menopausal symptoms like hot flashes. Try relaxation techniques like deep breathing, yoga or meditation. Engage in activities that relax you like reading, art or nature walks. Delegate or seek help when stress has become overwhelming. Social connections. Keeping those social connections strong is crucial. Maintaining social connections is vital for well-being. Isolation can lead to depression and anxiety, which can negatively affect your physical health. Social interactions keep your mind active and provide emotional support. Nurture your relationships, stay in touch with friends and family, and consider joining social groups or clubs. Volunteering or taking a class can also be a great way to meet new people and stay engaged. Avoiding smoking and excessive alcohol consumption. Lastly, avoid smoking and excessive alcohol consumption. These habits can significantly impact your health. Smoking is a leading cause of preventable diseases and can accelerate the aging process. Excessive alcohol consumption can lead to liver problems, weakened immunity, and increase the risk of accidents and certain cancers. Seek support to quit smoking if needed. Limit alcohol intake to moderate levels, which means up to one drink per day for women. If you struggle with these habits, consider seeking professional help to break free from them. Your body will thank you. Action steps. So let's put this knowledge into action. Today, I want you to do something to take care of your health. Whether it's going for a walk, making a healthy meal, scheduling a checkup, or simply reaching out to a friend, take one small step towards your well-being. In conclusion, Every stage of life is an opportunity for growth and health. These years can be the best years of your life. Embrace them, prioritize your well-being, and remember, you're not alone in this journey. Thank you for joining us today. 
If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And of course, subscribe to our channel for more helpful content. We'd love to hear from you. If you have any thoughts or tips to share, please drop them in the comments below. Remember, age is just a number, and you're never too old to feel fantastic. Until next time, take care and stay healthy.